Coming to the next part of our discussion, pH of salt or nature of salt and the classification according to the pH value of a particular salt. So here I am presenting a table which is which can be very easy to understand what is the nature of a salt. So coming to the first one, salt, NaCl. So NaCl could be said as neutral salt. Why NaCl is called as a neutral salt? Why? Because in here NaCl is formed because of the combination of a strong base sodium hydroxide, strong base, and a strong acid hydrochloric acid. The resultant uh, thing here is a neutral salt is produced. So the pH value of the salt is seven. So it is easily available for us from the sea. So sodium chloride is the commonly used salt in our homes. Next thing is NH4Cl, which is an uh, acidic salt. Why? Because here uh, a weak base is combined with a strong acid. The resultant pH value is less than seven. That's why it is called as uh, acidic salt. The next one is uh, the next salt is CuSO4, which is also an acidic. Why? Because it is the combination of a weak base and a strong acid, H2SO4. The resultant pH value is less than seven. That's why it is a acidic salt, CuSO4. Next one is CH3COONA. So it is the salt which is the basic in nature, which is formed by the combination of a weak acid is or nothing but acidic acid, CH3. COOH and a strong base NaOOH. The resultant pH value is greater than 7. That's why the CH3COONA is a basic salt. The next thing is that NaHCO3 called as sodium hydrogen carbonate or the sodium bicarbonate. This is a basic salt. Why? Because it is formed by the combination of a strong acid NaOOH and H2CO3, combination of a strong base and the combination of a, with a weak acid H2CO3. So, resulting in the formation of a pH value which is greater than 7. That's why sodium hydrogen carbonate is called as a basic salt. Basic nature it is having the salt is having. Basic nature coming to the sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is formed by heating sodium hydrogen carbonate. So, and the sodium carbonate is a basic salt. Why? Because when it is a, it is formed by a reacting with a, a strong base and a weak acid. Resultant the pH value is greater than seven. That's why sodium carbonate is called as basic salt. This is the classification of salts. And why? Because <coughs> The pH value is very important and the pH plays a prominent role. So that's why we have to learn this uh, about uh, this pH value. Why? Because coming to our mouth, so the pH value of saliva is uh, 5.8 uh, after meal and before meal it should be 5.5. Why? Because so. The digestion process starts itself in the buccal cavity. That's why the pH value is more. So if the pH value is more after meal, why because uh, uh, the sufficient amount of food is uh, taken, that's why the pH value is more when compared to the pH value before meal. So this pH value plays a prominent role in our daily life. Why because when a ant or or if we bites us, so it releases some acid into our skin that should be causes some irritation and pain. This, could, this, this uh, irritation could be reduced by applying some uh, base resulting in the formation of neutralization. By uh, the neutralization, there should be a decrease in the pain and the irritation. So like that, uh, if the pH value in the mouth, coming to the pH value in the mouth, if the pH value of the mouth is uh, uh, less than 5.5, 5, then uh, it uh, starts tooth decay. It, our tooth is the strongest tooth uh, and which is uh, formed with the calcium. So here on the tooth, on the top of the tooth, the top layer of the tooth is called as uh, enamel and it is a strong, uh, a strong bond formed by the uh, uh, calcium. So the bacteria which is present in the mouth uh, should uh, decrease uh, 
which uh, it starts at uh, 2 3 km and uh, it increases slowly and the mouth uh, uh, the smell from the mouth will be increased and uh, the tooth will be decayed slowly so this is a very vital problem which is happening uh, so that's why to reduce this problem using a, a toothpaste uh, with a strong uh, base so the strong base and this uh, strong acid can be neutralized and uh, we can be free from tooth decay the next one is uh, uh, if we use uh, more fertilizers in the soil the soil should become uh, more acidic and uh, because of acid rains also the soil becomes more acidic this acidic nature can be reduced uh, by neutralizing the soil uh, by adding the uh, suitable base so if the acid uh, if the soil is more acidic uh, then it should be very difficult to uh, apply this pesticides and fungicides it should be uh, very difficult for the soil to absorb this pesticides and fungicides that's why it is very uh, very emergency need uh, to neutralize the soil by adding a particular base to the acidic soil so in this way the daily applications of the ph uh, should be there a uh, mainly the acidity problem will be faced by some people that can be neutralized by adding some bases like uh, magnesium hydroxide so these are the general applications of uh, ph in our daily life so this is the basic things what we have to learn from acids and bases and which will be very helpful for our life